Hi everyone, Seth Alchemist here. Today is a smoke scrying reading for you. This is a message that's gonna come from the underworld, from your guardian demons, and we're gonna see what the message is all about. I'm gonna use this stick, and this is a collective reading. Take what resonates with you, and leave the rest. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to light up the fire. So this is going to be a message from the underworld, from guardian demons. I'm going to open the portal first. And I hereby declare the portal open. So I sense here that you're connecting to the underworld, you're connecting to your guardian demons. You are. That connection is there. But you don't know how. You feel like the connection has been established. You feel like you have done the connection. You feel like you feel like you sense you sense the underworld, you sense your guardian demons when you talk to them in your rituals, in your in your spells, in your practice, even when you're reading tarot, you know that they're there. But you don't know how that communication is 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 taking place and it confuses you sometimes. There's nothing to be confused about because the communication is there. Whatever you tell them, they hear. Whatever you request, they hear. They're gonna help you if it's in alignment with who you are. If it's good for you, they're gonna do it. The connection is there. The connection has been established. They're telling you that there's nothing to worry about. Keep doing the work. Keep doing the rituals, the invocations, they hear you, they're answering you, and sometimes they're teaching you the hard way, because with the underworld and demons, they teach the hard way. That's the only way for humans to learn anyways. Once you learn the hard way, you're not gonna repeat the same mistake. One way, to strengthen the communication with them is to fast before you do the ritual of invocation. You can fast or you can re restrain yourself from eating food for about six hours before the ritual, at least six hours. If you can do more, it's better. Of course, you can drink water, but fast. Don't eat food before the rituals and that will strengthen the connection. It will make you more connected to the underworld, more connected to the spirit realm, and you will hear their messages more clearly. The messages can come in form of visions, of intuitions, automatic writing if you can do it. It can come in dreams. They're using all of these for you, all of these. But for some specifically here, for some the messages are coming in the form of dreams, and uh, an intu uh, intuition, basically intuitive messages that, for example, you're driving, you don't know why something is telling you to turn right, even though you're not supposed to go there, it's not even in your, in your road, you're, you're not planning to go there, but something is telling you turn right here, turn right. That's them speaking to you, that's them guiding you towards something 
that will lead you to a new opportunity, a new new level, a new door, a new something new for your growth, for your expansion. So those intuitions, when they come to you, it's your guardian demons. The darkness is there. You're embracing your darkness. You're, you have a good balance between your dark and light. You, you know how to manipulate your darkness. You know how to be dark when it requires you to be dark. And you know how to be light when it requires you to be light. And that's amazing. They want to say that they're proud of you for that. They're really, really proud of you. It sounds like before you had a um, problem embracing your darkness and people were taking advantage of you. You were used by many people for your kindness. And now that doesn't happen anymore. You're more assertive. You're more powerful. You're more like, you know, when to say no, you don't let people take advantage of you. You know, you have that kind of inner power. You're fair, you're just. So they're really proud of you for that. I can see that that's happening within you. They want you to keep doing it. Keep doing it. Be consistent with it. Don't change it just because you met someone and you think you're in love with them and you have a crush on someone and there's and your love makes you change, makes you become more kinder and less, you know, be the same with everyone. Be who you are always at all times with everyone because that's how you declare to the underworld, to your guardian demons, and to the universe that that's who you truly are. You're fair and just to yourself first, because yourself is the most important thing in existence. And the more you are fair and just to yourself, the more others around you will respect you, and they will be inspired as well to be also fair, like you, just like you. You need to work on your physical health. You need to take care of your physical health. You need health. You need to clean up your diet. I see that you're still eating some junk food. You're obsessed with some sort of pizza food or burgers. You need to cut that from your diet. It, it keeps you stuck in the physical reality for your practice, for your work. You the witch, the mage, the shaman, you're gifted. And your gifts rely on diets, and the diet has to be light. Fruits, vegetables, roots, that's what you need to consume. Because for your rituals, for your practice, for your work, if you keep eating unhealthy and this junk food, it's gonna jeopardize and compromise your rituals. It's not your rituals, your channels, your work is not gonna be done properly, so you need to clean up your diet. Work on your diet for sure. Do it gradually at least, even if you can do it cold turkey, do it gradually, but make sure to work on your health. But uh, otherwise, the smoke is there and uh, it's flowing nicely and it's it's been doing great, you know? Um, you're, I'm glad you're you're, you're connecting to your darkness, you're embracing your darkness, and it's gonna take you to places uh, that are amazing. It's gonna take you to success, to fulfillment, to understanding who you are, to answering questions you've been wondering about. Um, this is great, this is great news. This is great news. Uh, this is your guardian demons, the underworld, wants you to keep doing what you're doing. They're supporting you, they're guiding you, they're with you all, well, not all the time. They're with you when you need them. That's what people misunderstood. They think that, oh, they're always there. No, they have things to do. They're higher beings. They're higher beings as above, so below. If you think you're busy, can you imagine a higher being? If you think they're not busy, they're saying to you that they're way busier than you can even wrap your head around. They're busy more than you can even you know, conceptualize. You, you can't imagine how busy they are because they live on a separate dimension. And in that dimension, there's a lot of things going on that they need to take care of. So when you need them, they are there, but not all the time. Keep that in mind. But they trust you, they know you got it. They know you're on the right path. 
and this coincided with the smoke dying. So I'm gonna stop here because this is what I have for you. This is great. I'm gonna close the portal right now. I hereby declare the portal closed. <laughs>